welcome to another video. This time it's a bit of a lesson that uh, actually is going to be on my uh, Guitar Academy as well, but I just wanted to do a quick lesson on the topic of improvisation and licks and how I think in terms of those. Um, do you, should you have licks or should you not have licks? Mm -hmm. For me, absolutely, when I, when I was developing as a guitar player uh, in my teenage years, I'm still developing, but when I was rapidly developing when I was practicing, um, I did think very much in terms of licks. Now, and I think that's only helped me. So one of the licks that you heard um, in the intro to this, which was this one. That's kind of straight out of the Yngwie Malmsteen playbook uh, and uh, I kind of just ripped it off him uh, and combined it with a bunch of other licks. And now that's what I think you should be doing. You should be, uh, because licks are partly technique and it's partly vocabulary. So I think you should learn lots of licks uh, by different types of guitar players. So you can combine them uh, into something that's your own and make variations on those licks. But when you're improvising, absolutely, I think uh, for me, it was essential to think in terms of licks. Now, um, that combined with scales or modes is basically me improvising. And then a lot of these things, uh, not my earbuds, but my actual ears. So I listen a lot to what I play and kind of make on-the-go decisions based on that. Now that sounds like it's a rational process, it's not a very rational process at all. Um, but I have, st I still have kind of go-to licks that I use every now and then. Um, and I think that's fine. There are some guitar players who will say they don't use any licks. I don't know. I'm not... Uh, 100% sure, but I suspect that they, if they're not lying, they're deceiving themselves to a certain extent. Even Guthrie Govan, who says he doesn't like licks and kind of is a master of the instruments, um, said that uh, he has go-to licks. But uh, for me, the way I think about it, licks are kind of vocabulary in a way or maybe you should, can think of them as phrases uh, or in that kind of a some, some, something like that. Um, if the notes are words, you have licks that make up phrases, so you combine different notes in a different way. Um, and, but, but that's how I think about them. And, and the more licks you know, the better vocabulary you have, if you want to think in those terms. Uh, and the better you'll be at improvising. So, because you want to be able to uh, produce language, in this case music, um, on the go. Now, if you want to do that, you need a good grasp of vocabulary. Uh, you need, basically, you need to know what to do with language. And licks are one way that can help you develop your understanding of what you're doing on the fretboard. Now, you can think of this in terms of uh, visualizing the fretboard. You can think of it in terms of letting your fingers do what they do. You can think of it in terms of uh, letting your ears guide you. When I was kind of uh, developing, I wasn't thinking in terms of ears. Uh, I was very much like learning simple blocks and kind of thinking of them and putting them one after the other. So I had this lick. And I played that lick and then uh, there'd be a short break and then I'd, because I was thinking, and then I'd maybe do... So it was like... Uh, not the most fluent thing, but you're not supposed to be fluent when you're learning improvising. I'll come after a time. And I think licks help with that and you'll kind of get used to combining them in different ways and gradually if you have a diverse musical uh, kind of background or your musical instruments interests are diverse enough you'll develop a sound 
that might even be your own. The main thing is, don't be afraid to, to do what you think is kind of uh, what you're comfortable with. So if you're comfortable with licks, do licks. Don't listen to other people who say, you shouldn't do licks. Um, if you think licks are crap, uh, you don't want to do licks, you want to do something else, and you're watching this video, good for you. Don't listen to me. Do whatever you think is natural to you, and uh, because that way you'll develop faster, and you'll have more fun, and the end results will be better. But that's basically what we're after, a good end result where you know how to express yourself by improvising with music. And that's... That's what I have to say on this topic, yeah, all right. Um, I hope that made sense, um, and if it didn't, leave me a question below, and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, here's another lick for you. <laughs> That's not the lick. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.